Hey everybody, Nate Lee here, and I've got a quick little tip for you. I've had a few students ask me about this recently, and it has to do with what you need to do after you change your strings, and I need to change my strings. I've had these octocores on for weeks now, and for me, I get a couple weeks out of a, a long-lasting set of strings for me is a couple weeks uh, before I kill them. I play a lot, and also my fingers have a tendency to kill strings. The octocores have held up really, really well. You know, they lost their shine, but that's about it. Uh, but it's time to change them, and after I change them later today, this is something I'm going to have to do. So several students have reached out recently about this, and what they said to me is, I've just changed my strings, and now my intonation's off. And that is a common problem after you change strings. Now this probably doesn't mean you've moved your bridge. When you change strings, you should do one at a time. I know a lot of people will say, oh, I take off half of them or I take off all of them or whatever. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that because you're going to end up moving your bridge and you're going to have a bad time. So instead, change them one at a time. But even when you do that, your bridge, as you tighten up those strings, the saddle here, that's this top piece, it's independent from the bottom piece. It's on a set of posts here. If you look close, you can see those posts there. That saddle's sitting on top of it, and it has a little room to pivot. And it doesn't mean anything's wrong with your mandolin. It's supposed to work that way. But when you tighten up your strings, that saddle is going to lean forward just a little bit. Now, I do this on my lap, a little more on my lap, but I'm going to show you here this way. What you do to fix it is after you change your strings, you just grab the bridge, put fingers on the bottom of the bridge right here, and thumbs up on top like this, and you just turn, just do a little tweak in that direction, just going that direction, but the tiniest little bit. Don't put a lot of pressure, just give it a little, just like that. If it moves, you're done. If it doesn't move, don't try again. That just means the saddle didn't move on you this time. So that's what to do. You don't have to freak out if you find your intonations off. Now, if it's still off after changing strings and the strings are all settled in and you're in tune and it's still off, then it's time to change where your bridge is, the, the position of the bridge. For most people, it's best to get someone else to do it. I know how to do it, and I still just get somebody else to do it because I find it tedious and I absolutely hate it. <laughs> so there's no shame in getting someone else to do it. You also can learn how to do it. There's got to be a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do this. I'd check out Mandolin Lessons would be a good place or David Benedict. They probably both have videos about this. So that's what to do after you change your strings. I'm going to put some new ones on this later today, and it'll be whatever I'm deciding to test next. So if you see this video, uh, go ahead and comment what strings you'd like me to test out next. I have some elixirs, which you can't get anymore, but I'm going to put them on anyway and make a video. And I have a handful of other things laying around. So let me know in the comments what you want to test or what you want me to test. These have been great, but they're dead now. And I'm ready for the next set. Oh, I also have a set of mapes in the so-called custom medium gauges that you'll hear people talking about. Uh, so got those to test as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps with the old YouTube algorithm. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure to follow this page and like this post and share it with your friends. Also, if you missed the fantastic chords and where to find the mandolin course. You can find a link below. You can access all of the stuff there, and I'll even add new stuff from time to time. All right, everybody, see you later on.